day friends I have got a new tool I'd like you to try it is my dot sketchup and you can simply visit it by typing my dot sketchup and it'll let you go to the my dot sketchup web page sketchup is a version of drawing program that's been free on computers for a long time there's a professional version but this is what I actually cut my teeth on and now they've made it a web tool as well uh, when you launch it it gives you a, ch a chance to uh, start a tour or start modeling. Uh, it looks like I might be getting a block. So I'm going to unblock that and refresh and see if it comes up. Nope, that part's just not working, which is fine because I just want to start modeling. Got to agree to the term service and tell it OK. Right now it is in open beta. I want to log in so that I can save myself. Notice it says, hey, your pop-ups have been blocked. So I'm going to allow pop-ups from mysketchup.com. Tell it OK. Tell it OK. And I'm going to hit this again. I want to sign in with Google because that's easiest. I'm using my Kid Harmon account. At this point, I'm signed in and I can move back as soon as I switch the templates. This is the most important thing is you start in feet and inches and all of my designing I do in millimeters. So when you switch to millimeters click on the dude because we don't need him and delete him and then let's make a quick little house for our first project. When you click on the tools it pops out other tools you can use. I want a normal rectangle and then my favorite thing to do is to click where I want to start and make it wiggly and then I type the numbers. So I like to make my little houses 70, and then I'm going to type comma, so I'm actually typing on the keyboard, 70 by 50, and press enter. And then I could scroll with the mouse, but I love this tool where I can click on it and choose zoom to extents, so it goes right to it. Right now I have zoomed in uh, by rolling the wheel. Uh, I can push in the wheel. And it orbits left and right, up and down. I can pan. Uh, there's all the tricks for doing shift. Everything like that you can do. I want to make my house have walls. Check out how amazingly easy this is. Click the push-pull tool and switch to the offset tool. Click on your shape and pull the mouse in. You can just guess and check, but I always like to type a number. I'm going to make two millimeter thick walls. That way when I 3D print my creation, it'll be able to, uh, it'll be frugal with the plastic. I do not want the middle. So now I've got walls all the way around my nifty little house. I'm going to hold this down and switch back to push pull. Push pull is amazing because it lets you click on a chunk and just lift it up. I'm going to make my house 20 millimeters high. So I type 20 and press enter. I'm going to use that mouse wheel to orbit and take a look at my house again. Just amazed at how quickly I can turn this into a house. I don't want to spend any more time measuring just because we're having fun. Uh, I'm going to click the rectangle tool. I'm going to move over however much I want. And I'm going to draw a door-like shape. I'm going to go back to push-pull. I'm going to click on the door, and this is super cool. It's called inferring. See that little red point I'm moving to the corners of my rectangle with? I'm going to instead move to the middle of the back wall, and it automatically finds the midpoint. And if I click that spot with the red tip of that arrow, bam, it cuts out my door. Same trick, I'm going to add a window. So I'm just clicking on the wall, drawing the window. When I press uh, to finish the window, I switch to push-pull, grab push-pull, find that midpoint of the back wall, pop. If you ever mess up, just do control Z. You can back up and undo it. If you really didn't mean to, you can do control Y to redo it. I'm going to switch to the circle tool. I'm going to add a circle wall on this or a circle window on this side. I'm going to switch back to that tool and I'm going to add a cool hexagon window on the back or a polygon window. I'm going to add one default polygon. And then I'm going to take the other polygon and watch this. I'm going to show you how to make it custom. Make sure you've got the blue edges. And then right click it to choose Entity Info. When you get the enemy Entity Info, you can change the sides to however many segments you want. 
You could customize the measurements, but once again, I am just playing, so it doesn't matter. Could go to push-pull by hand, but watch this. You can also use P as the shortcut for push-pull. I use that all the time. I'm going to snap to that midpoint again for each of those. See how easy it is to click. I'm orbiting, click, and push-pull to create a nifty little house. Got to put a roof on the house. Uh, here's my trick for doing that. Uh, you've got a blue, a red, and a green line showing your, your axis. I'm making sure that I'm pointing with the blue line there. See how it shows it blue? I'm going to make this uh, 15 high. And then once I've got that piece, I'm going to connect it to make a triangle. I'm going to delete the piece in the middle. I'm going to go back to push-pull, pushing in my scroll wheel, rolling out so I can see better. And I'm going to push-pull that roof all the way across, and bam, you have created an awesome house. If you go to materials, you can pick colors or anything you want to paint with. Uh, when you click on a color, you just pour it on the pieces where you want it. It's that easy. It's that fun. Have a great time. Make sure if you make something awesome, you do a screenshot and share it with us. Comment on the video. If there's anything I missed, let me know what I need to do better. Have fun, and I hope you enjoyed our first lesson with SketchUp. Do remember that you need to save it. I'm going to call mine Funhouse. Kind of like I went to the fair, but I didn't have to pay to get in. Make sure you click on the SketchUp and hit save. I almost missed that step. Once again, have a great day.